just for the tandem as well as the truck or the trailer. We just talk about it just bites into itself. It's just crisscross 4x4s that are like four feet long. So just stick it at the base of one of the tires. It digs in, locks into the other tire. So this now prevents it from going forward because it's going to bite into the piece of wood. When the next one comes in, it just opposes it. It locks in this way on the front set of tires. So if it goes to roll back, it's going to bite into it this way. The 4x4 locks into each tire to prevent forward and backward movement. So the good thing about this is that we do have just a little bit of lift on the back. We're still not, our wheel chalk sits on the ground. This still locks all the way up. So under rides or like we did over there, what we're trying to do, we don't have two tandems on the back of that truck. But this is the, to me, this is the go-to setup if you have these. And like that one looks a little long, but if we, let's say if we go to that flat trailer over there, you know, a lot of our flat trailers, they might have expanded, you know, movable rear axles. So they may expand, it gives you that ability. And that underneath the lock up underneath that trailer too. Pretty simple, right? Just something we had never thought about until we saw it. Yeah.